Hey everyone, this is your boy Matt, and in today's video I have for you an Adventures of video, this time in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel is the Adventures of Lovely Labyrinth in the XYZ Festival. That's right, the XYZ Festival um, became available a few days ago, and I already did the Legend of Dialogy, I already ranked to Diamond 1, right? Uh, I did uh, that with uh, Dark Magician and uh, Umi Control, respectively. So I figured, you know, I'm gonna do the XYZ Festival with uh, Labyrinth, even though theoretically I could do it with, with um, Dark Magician or Umi Control. But... Uh, yeah, figured, you know, Labyrinth uh, content is always something that my, you lovely viewers are interested in, so here we go. Um, let's start with the first duel here. We have a Labyrinth versus Danger. Uh, going sec it looks like a blind going second Danger deck uh, that can make Synchro 8s, or not Synchro 8s, um, Rank 8s, so... Yeah, I'll just call this like dan uh, going set uh, danger OTK or something like that. Anyway, <clears throat> All right, so let's get into it. All right, pretty okay opening. Um, unfortunately, deck devastation virus doesn't do much against dangers because they're all high attacks but low defense. Uh, so Lord set two pass. Um, not a great opening, but uh, oh, we're gonna incredible ecclesia into the Irish sword soul battle phase. I'm gonna welcome into they're gonna maxi. It doesn't matter. Uh, lovely, uh, pop that, and then new chain. Lovely, uh, chaining the virus. So I, I do see their hand, and I do pop. What did I? Uh, Flying C, and yeah, Labyrinth, Pop, Nibiru. So uh, the reason I did Chain Link 1 Labyrinth, Lady Lovely, Chain Link 2, uh, 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 De Deck Devastator is because I wanted to clear their hand of the small monsters and then, you know, use Lovely to pop a whatever cards remained uh, from the pool of car remaining cards, right? Anyway, so Lord comes in, I do search and peel Iron Wall because I notice that they, ha they have a bunch of dangers in their hand. So I feel like, oh, this might be a danger like um, Grand Maju or like with, you know, uh, Gizmic Orochi and possibly like uh, you know the Golden Castle, right? And Iron Wall is really good against that. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and get Iron Wall. So they do draw Ecclesia. Ecclesia gets popped. And then Lovely comes back. So they're going to draw Ash. Ash gets popped by a Deck Devastator. So they're going to bounce Lovely and then go into the, zo the Zombie Vampire, which is interesting. So they're going to revive and then this, 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 yeah. Not sure what their plan was. Yeah, Deck Devastator, all it really did was like hit their Ecclesia and hit their hand traps. Uh, didn't do much else other than that, but you know, they still, well, I guess, scoop because they knew they were screwed. Um, they lost their battle phase, right? They couldn't summon, they could not make their rank eight before the battle phase. Uh, duel number two, we have Labyrinth versus Sprite. So Sprite is very, um, popular in this in this festival by the way uh, I, I played these games before flying C was banned yeah flying C is at three <laughs> in the festival until they did an emergency ban list to get rid of it because they realized oh th that's stupid right so <clears throat> yeah flying C literally does nothing more that because we like never XYXC summon so doesn't matter uh, flying C legal or not uh, we're still gonna be winning Oh, is that Broken Lion in my head? Yes, it is. Broken Lion is always a solid card to have whenever you are um, you don't have access to Floodgates. It's just like more Omni Negates, right? So here comes the red, Carrot, and then Jet. Jet is going to attempt to search. I'm going to go ahead and Broken Lion the Jet. So goodbye, Jet. <laughs> no uh, spell for you. And then Gigantic Sprite. They're going to attempt to special from deck. Uh, I'm going to chain uh, this to bounce Gigantic Sprite. So they will literally not get uh, a search, a special off. So really, all I need to do is draw a freaking uh, welcome piece, right? Even drawing lovely would be okay because I can summon lovely off of uh, the field spell plus torrential. So yeah, so so the reason this game ended up being 10 turns is because I'm just waiting to draw a monster, any monster. There's my welcome. So I'm going to activate the field spell and set the welcome. So on end phase, I'm gonna go ahead and welcome. They're gonna ash, um, but then I'm gonna solve strike. No, no ash for you, sorry. Ooh, 
virus, okay. Let's we'll swing here. Let's we'll set compulsory. They're gonna imperm. Uh, sure. It doesn't matter. We have, you know... Again, it doesn't really stop... It doesn't really delay anything, so... They're gonna sprite smashers here. Um, and I'm... <laughs> Uh, so they normal carrot and then they sprite smash. But look at the column they sprite smash. The same column that my broken line is in. And I'm going to go ahead and... Broken line, baby. Let's go. Negate. <laughs> oh, man. I love broken line. So let's go ahead and, and uh, bop this. Bam. Um, virus tribute lady. So lovely. Call spell cards. Uh, what did I pop? I pop sprite gamma burst. Cool. And then Labyrinth brings comes back in the battle phase. Swing. So I'm going to go ahead and set compulsory because it's funny. So they have a flying C and that's it. And they draw Imperm, which does nothing. And scoop, scoopity, scoop, scoop. Yeah, they were <laughs> they were totally screwed. Like, imagine if I had a, an early Deck Devastator virus. They would have been more screwed. A 24 turn game. Ooh. I'm trying to remember what, what happened in this one. But anyway, it's Labyrinth versus. Math mech. Oh, I think I, I remember what happened in this one. Yeah, I went a long time without drawing any labyrinth, any monsters. Uh, and we, it was just like a stall fest where we were just top decking over and over. I remember. Yeah, that's why it was a long game. <laughs> yeah, 24 seconds of like draw and pass, pretty much. So, pretty solid opening. We already tears here. Here comes the. Uh Sigma, Subtraction, Alumbertion, Search, the uh, Circular, Circular is going to Summon, Tribute, Special, yep, they get the Math Mech Induction, what does that card do, Math Mech Induction says, hold on, slow down, uh, Continuous Trap, all Cyber Monster gains 500, if you control Math Mech, you can send this card face up field greater target, one card for controls and destroy it. Okay, so it's kind of like a mystical space siphon that requires a math mech monster. All right, so they took out a Terrors of the Over from my hand, which doesn't matter. Cause I have another one. And it's once per turn anyway, so. So I'm going to go ahead and set five here. They're going to induction and pop compulsory, fine. And then they're going to super factorial, okay. Yep. All according to plan. Laplacian. Laplacian is going to get rid of uh, Terrors. That's fine. Okay. So they're going to attempt the Sigma. I'm going to Ice Dragons. And then banish these two. So why did I banish the middle column if I still have Broken Line in the middle column? Because I want them to play another monster here in the middle column that I can Broken Line. Whereas I don't really care about Laplacian because it, its effects pretty much do nothing at this point. So there's no point in keeping that uh, middle column. So subtraction. Okay. All right. Torrential, you love to see it. We're gonna swing for 3K, yep. Here comes the Zeus. I'm going to Torrential on some of the Zeus. I lose the rest of my cards, but it literally doesn't matter. Oh, Ice Dragons. You love to see it. I love Ice Dragons in ma against Math Mech. Right, let's see what we got. Equation. Show me that. And then on Battle Phase, I'm going to banish both of them. All right, they're going to max it. It doesn't matter. So goodbye. So no battle phase for you, buddy. Yeah, so we're basically in top deck mode. I just need a freaking monster. Can I get a monster, please? Here's a torrential. Okay. There's a diameter. A special this, and then I'm in torrential. Goodbye. No, some monsters for you, buddy. Give me a monster. Let's go. Oh, evenly matched. Uh, not great. Not what I wanted. I'm gonna set one, okay? Dr 
Draco Utopian Aura, great card. Let's see. One day I will draw a monster. I have three lords. I have, you know, a couple Arianas. You know, three welcomes, right? One day I will draw a monster. Okay, I got my lord. Another lord, cool. So I'm gonna lord here, and then I'm gonna set. Oh, I don't set evenly matched yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm wanting to summon a monster so I can uh, destroy it and then summon lord. So since they don't seem to be drawing anything, basically, and I draw another evenly matched, I'm going to use, activate lord and I'm gonna set an evenly matched. So yeah, I can actually activate evenly matched to just clear one of their cards. You know, why not, right? <laughs> So battle phase, end the battle, evenly. And then I'm gonna special lord, and let's uh, let's continue. Still nothing, okay. All right, there's the welcome, and the game is over. Yep. So swing for 3k, main two. Activate lord, use field spell, set welcome, and the game is completely ogre. So ogre. Okay, subtraction. They're in a battle phase. They're not going to attack, which is funny. End phase. I'm gonna ash my welcome, Sag. But uh, I'm merely gonna summon Lord off that. So, uh, and then I send another welcome. Good job, idiot. Your ash did literally nothing. So welcome. A lovely pop that pop channel one lovely channel two welcome and then they use their, their blade and then they're gonna imperm fine battle pop pop easy game easy life yeah it took me a while to draw a freaking like monster like an actual so I can actually attack them but I was able to hold off for quite a quite a while game number four we have labyrinth versus galaxy eyes which makes sense like you're gonna play XC's festival you might as well play a galaxy eyes deck that archetype was made for XC summoning know what I'm saying Double virus, which is not ideal. I'm not even gonna bother setting the viruses because I literally don't have a way to tribute. Hold on, sanctuary, okay. I'm gonna solve strike that. Solve strike. Yeah, maybe those are not optimal points of Solemn Strike. I'm not that familiar with how Galaxy Eyes works. I, I probably could have been more patient. But, uh... <coughs> yeah, given how many cards they had in their hand and how much they spent, like, I, I thought that was a good investment. Or, like, a good points of Strike. Utopian Draco... Draco Utopian Aura is once per turn, so no point in sending the second one. Yeah, these tokens cannot attack. Okay, broken line. I'm gonna set the broken line in the rightmost column. <laughs> Torrential, pop. Summon two more tokens, okay? Once again, I'm just not seeing any of my monsters. Um, yeah, I, I think one of the reasons is like I'm not, I don't have any pot cards in this deck because pots are banned for some fucking reason. So yeah, all right, finally got an Ariana into welcome, and then they're gonna finally scoop. Yeah. So yeah, just uh, I am running three Ariana right because of the lack of pot cards. I do have three Ariana in this deck, 
even though I, I prefer not to have three. But just because, like, I don't have my pots, right? Not having pots means I'm, I'm less likely to see my starting cards, um, just by definition. So, anyway, with number five, we have Labyrinth versus, uh, oh, uh, Shark. Rank four Sharks. Yep. Basically, the goal of this uh, matchup is don't let them make rank fours, period. There's no need for them to make rank fours. So, Ari is going to search uh, Welcome. Cool. Field spell. I'm setting all four this time. Because I want to be able to welcome t uh, twice in a row, like, qu quickly. There's a shark. I'm going to go ahead and pop that. So that its effect fizzles. And then, new turn. Chain, chain like one, already chain like two, lovely. Pop uh, one of their fish in their hand, and I'm gonna set Broken Line. White Mirror is gonna revive this, okay. And then they're going to special the Silent Sea Nettle, which is funny because I just popped, well, popped it, right? Um, yeah, I was gonna trap chicken like uh, Ice Dragons, probably, or Torrential, but yeah, they just they just scooped because like they knew they were out of plays after that, like. Um, yeah, just don't let them uh, make rank fours, period. So, duel number six, we have Labyrinth versus uh, sh <laughs> significantly shittier Labyrinth. Oh my god, what is this deck profile I'm looking at? This is like a blue eyes Labyrinth? What? Yeah, this is not good at all. This is definitely not good. And it's a 48 card deck. What are you thinking? All right, whatever. Well, uh, look. Let's uh, see how you do. Spoilers, they don't do well at all. Opening hand is okay, not great. We're gonna set two pass, okay. Second Ari, this feels bad. This is why I don't like running three Ari's. I never want to see two in hand. Oh, look, get ashed. Cool. So I'm going to activate this because uh, I can. Uh, set Terrors, set Draco. Yeah, so Terrors can trigger the field spell, which will summon out uh, Lovely. So they're going to put out their field spell. On phase, I'm going to get rid of that field spell because, yeah, and I'm going to set Ash. This is funny. Is it, what, what did you think was going to happen? Then I'm going to summon Lovely. <laughs> Three Lord, no Ari. Okay, welcome. By the way, folks, I could make an, a rank four play here because I have two Aries, but eh, no need. I'd rather swing for 32 and then have the Ari to draw me cards. Honestly, like maybe in the future turn I'll I'll, I'll make the rank four uh, DDD monster, right? Or the rank eight. I'm gonna tribute my stuff for Lava Golem. Okay, so I'm gonna immediately. <laughs> Get that field spell off. They're gonna try to ice dragons. Okay, so they're gonna banish lava golem and lovely. Okay, and then Ari comes back, and then they're gonna solemn judgment, welcome labyrinth, and then Lord comes back, comes in, and then yeah, like what? Is it? I have another lovely, by the way. I'm running two lovelies. Like, <laughs> yeah, I I have rank four making plays. Like basically, they, they, they're left with nothing essentially. This is a very, very sad matchup. Because it's just like, dude just doesn't do anything because his deck sucks. Uh, duel number seven, we have Labyrinth versus Zodiac with, with the Flying Sea package. Lol. I, I, I still think that's hilarious. But yeah, Zodiac, highly, highly predictable. Uh, I forget why this goes on for 12 turns, I think. Might because it takes me a while to see him a monster, possibly. So set five, four pass all evenly because there's no point. Desires, yep. Um, Thorough blade, yep. Make the Borbo, yep. All, all very standard. This is a Zeus, 
Very standard just play. Make the Tiger Mortar. Yep, keep going. Make the Hammer Kong. Yep, you're almost at six material Zeus. Make the Zeus. And Solemn Strike. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. I love how clever these Zodiac players think they are. Anyone who makes, like, who makes, uh, you know, these four material, six material Zeus plays against four set cards is like, Motherfucker, you don't think I have a single interruption against you? Really? Yeah. Ex exactly. Yeah, so they burn through four cards in the extra deck to make that play and then it accomplished nothing. Good job. There's a Thoroughblade. Yep. There's a Chaka 9. Yep. There's a Vespinado. I'm going to Trenchel here. Gonna revive throw blade, it doesn't matter. Hammer Kong, yep. Dryden, yep. Battle phase, get rid of Dryden. Set Pot of Desires. By the way, look look how hilarious this is. So they already used Pot of Desires, so their deck is at 18 cards. So I'm I'm putting I'm gonna I'm setting Pot of Desires here onto their field. Just asking them, please. Use Pod Desires again. Please banish 10 more cards in your deck. Right. And here's the hilarious part, folks. So, Dryden's gonna do absolutely nothing here. Alright, so that's gone. And then I put Pod Desires in the middle column! The same column as Broken Line! <laughs> so, alright, motherfucker, you have 18 cards in your deck. Do you want to Pod Desires banish 10 of them? And to try, try to draw two and you'll be at what? Six cards? It's there. I dare you. I dare you to po pot of desires. <laughs> oh man, this is going to be hilarious. Y'all y'all going to love this. I love Broken Lion because of stuff like this. What? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and set an evenly because they have four cards, right? So they're going to draw. They're at 17 cards left in the deck. They're going to activate pot of desires. It's going to banish them 10. They're down to seven cards in their deck. And I'm gonna chain Broken Line. <laughs> oh, hilarious. So funny. Another Borbo, but you don't have any more Zeus's, so who cares, right? And the battle phase evenly. <laughs> oh, man. They have seven cards left in their deck. Their extra deck is down to five cards, folks. I have yet, by the way, I have yet to draw a, a Labyrinth Monster, right? I'm literally just hitting them with trap cards, right? <laughs> and if I, if like, they, if they can't do anything, they're, they're, they're going to be, they're going to deck out soon, right? Battle phase. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, do we finally get a monster? All right, there's the welcome, and we have the field spell. And we have deck devastator, and I'm pretty sure most of the Zodiacs. Uh, 1,200 attack, 1,600. Uh, 1,600. So Thoroughblade 16, it's in the graveyard. This one's 400. Yeah, all the remaining Zodiacs. Are all low attack and we'll get wrecked by De De Devastator, right? End phase. Welcome. You're gonna ash. It doesn't matter. Again, they have five cards left in their deck, folks. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're scooping. <laughs> Imagine winning <laughs> with no monsters. <laughs> oh, man, that was so funny. The Pot of Desires took the cake, right? Because Tears of the Honor, you have to uh, target a card in their opponent's graveyard and set it to their field, right? And I'm just like, all right, hey, how, why don't I give you Pot of Desires back? I'll give you a draw, too. Yeah, yeah, here you go. You want to draw, too? All you got to do is banish 10. <laughs> and then Broken Line says, no. <laughs> Oh, that was that was that was so funny. That was that <laughs> that was one of the funnier games I remember. Uh, so number eight, we have Labyrinth versus um, another Galaxy Eyes. This time with Triple Lightning Storm, Feather Duster, and yet I'm still gonna win. How about that? <laughs> so funny. All right, let's see what we have. <laughs> Set four pass, yep. If 
Thrasher, yep. Yep. Vanisher, yep. There's a Starlight Photon Dragon. I'm going to say no to that. Goodbye. Okay. Evenly does not uh, do anything for me. Okay. Alright, let's see. Let's go! Top deck! Another compulsory. I'm not gonna bother setting it because, you know, compulsory doesn't do that much against Galaxy Eyes. Lightning Storm! Oh no! So I'm gonna chain Ice Dragons and grab his monster so that I just have a body to defend me. 2500 defense, so, okay. Yeah, so I, I, I'm playing through a lightning storm and I'm still gonna win, folks. Just FYI, people who get triggered by lightning storm, don't, don't, don't worry. Be happy. Draw. Broken line. All right, I'll set it. I'll let's go attack here, and then I'll set broken line right here in the middle with compulsory. Lightning storm number two. Let's go. All right. Cool. They still got no plays they can make. Battle. Bam. Set Psalm Strike. I'll make a Zeus. <laughs> Just cuz, you know. They tribute Zeus for Godarla. Why? I literally can't even use its effect. I have I don't have enough materials. Alright, battle. Bam. <laughs> Imagine drawing lightning storm twice and still losing. <laughs> Against the back row deck. Galaxy Soldier, yep. Okay. Psalm Strike, goodbye. Battle. Bam! Alright, set another Draco Utopian Aura here. And then they scoop. Yep. <laughs> Imagine playing Lightning Storm twice against a back row deck and still losing. That, that's how sad of a situation that is. Uh, duel number nine, we have Labyrinth versus Math Mech Sharks. Huh. I mean, I guess everything's a rank four, so uh, why not, right? Why not mix Math Mechs with uh, rank four Sharks? Like water, water monsters, right? Pretty good opening. Just gonna set four pass here. You're gonna circular? Yep. Uh, why did I song strike the summon? I forget. But, oh, I think because I didn't want him to uh, search the uh, the trap card, I think. But um, that seems like another necessary. They're going to Ash. I have a, sec I have a second Solve Strike, so I don't care. And then I'm going to Deck Devastation, Virus. And then, look at this. Math Mech Circular, Max C, Math Mech Circular, Math Mech Circular. <laughs> Easy game, easy life. Ice Dragons, you love to see an Ice Dragons. Especially against Math Mech. Goodbye, Shark. <laughs> Alright, so he's going to use Equation to revive Circular. And then he's going to attempt to revive Sigma, but I'm on Ice Dragons. <laughs> Goodbye! No Sigma, no Circular for you. And then Welcome comes back. <laughs> and then it's Scoop. Yeah. Yeah, that first Psalm Strike was probably, uh, like, not the correct thing, move to do. Um, yeah, I forgot why I did it, but it doesn't matter. But <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Rule number 10, we have Labyrinth versus uh, Exo Sisters. Makes sense, because, uh, you know, Exo Sisters are an uh, XYZ deck, and they 
they, if they can get their full board off, they can literally like have four banishing banishing effects, which is nuts. And some of the banish effects are non-targeting, I believe. If not all of them, like pretty OP. But you know what's great against uh, any uh, decks that banish? Uh, Imperial Iron Wall. <laughs> oh no, monster, huh? Okay, that that's cool. So normal Ariana search. Of course, there's an Ash. It, it doesn't matter. Still gonna swing. So I'm gonna set Broken Line on the middle column here, cause uh, you know, just in case this, this is like a, like a Vadis or something. Martha. Yep. Martha. I'm gonna immediately Imperial on Wall, so they can't banish. I'm gonna. This one's gonna add an extra monster. Nah, I'm gonna say no to that. Yeah, the game was completely over. Like, imagine not being able to banish as Exo Sister. What do you do? Nothing. You just lose, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Um, but yeah, so those of you asking about Exo Sisters uh, in the rank ladder, yeah, uh, Imperial Iron Wall, what are they gonna do about it? Nothing. They're not gonna do anything about it. Alright, duel number 11, we have Labyrinth versus uh, Rika. Rika with a lot of blowout cards. Evenly matches Harpies. You got one copy of uh, Droplet. I mean, I, I wonder if they're all like cross out designated targets, but whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Rika is not way less good um, with uh, without links because uh, they they have that link four monster. The whole Sunavalon Sunavalon line basically like makes the deck a lot better. So just the XCs, eh? So we do open uh, an okay hand. So, okay, Glamour into Pedal. We'll pedal into Mudan. Snowdrop. Oh, <sighs> Rika Sheet. Yep, sure. She dropped the Rika Queen. Alright. So, this monster. So, basically, this end board says. You can attach a material from this card, target a monster on the field, distribute it. This is a quick effect if the card has plant uh, monsters material. So, yeah, unfortunately, I don't have I don't have monsters. So, I topped at the broken line. I'm gonna activate Lord. I'm gonna set broken line in the same column as this back row here because there's no point in negating teardrop since it's not gonna do anything. Then we're gonna set four pass. Pedal will turn on end phase. Uh, that's fine. Metal is going to search uh, Mudan. Mudan's going to tribute, summon itself. This thing is going to gain some attack. Search Rika Glamour. Yep. Okay. So far, so good. World Carrot Weight. Okay, whatever. Yep. So at this point, um, I'm going to use Terrors of the Overroot. To target the XCs and then target the Rika pedal in the graveyard, right? Because the pedal will return on the end, on my end phase, and I don't want that to happen. And this XCs needs to go. So, okay. I'm gonna summon Lord. Lord's gonna set Welcome, and then I'm gonna immediately deck devastation for th monsters. So, uh, yeah. So that destroyed a few things, right? But the point is that uh, they don't really have. Yeah, Lone Fire is just gonna get popped. Uh, carrot. Um, I'm gonna go into Ice Dragons, and then Ice Dragons will get rid of Carrots and uh, Rika Petal. Goodbye. Now that I have Welcome, I can bring out Lovely, and then Lovely can, can uh, basically recycle Ice Dragons. Ice Dragons is amazing against Rika because all their monster plants. So Welcome into Lovely. Let's go into Battle. Pop. Main 2. Activate Lord. We're gonna go ahead and grab the Ice Dragons. By the way, I know they have Droplet because I saw them draw it. So, yeah, I want to see. If, all right, there's the Feather Duster. But we have a Lord, so it does nothing. Ha ha! Rika Tranquility is going to summon this thing back and tribute summon for Erica, Battle Phase. Uh, so, because they have Droplet, uh, they can attack into it. So, I'm going to Ice Dragons. And then they're going to chain Rika Sheet. Rika Sheet says, Target face up monster, put controls. Also, you can tribute one plant monster. Plant. It's going to activate that face up monster's field this turn. So, unfortunately for them, uh, I have this card called uh, Broken Line, which is in the same column, and it's going to negate it. 
And then this comes to my field. And yeah, they're just gonna scoop. They're like, what are they gonna do? Nothing. Like, because I know they have harpies in the hand, I'm never gonna use Lord, summon Lord, because I can just sit on them, right? So yeah, easy game, easy life. Uh, game number uh, 12. We have Labyrinth versus uh, Generator, I guess. Yeah, this is like Generators. Gene Raider, Generator, whatever, wh however you pronounce it. Yeah, doesn't matter. It's a bad, it's a bad deck. Generator sucks in regular TCG. It's even worse in festivals. Although, I, I guess XC's festival is the one festival you'd play it in. Because he likes to make rank 9s, right? Alright. <sighs> Open evening match, yep. Uh, not, you know, I go first, so I'm just going to set 3 pass. They're going to normal summon the Law Porter, and I'm going to immediately um, get rid of that. So they lost their normal summon, they can't special from deck, and then their turn is Ogre. Draw, there's my welcome. Activate field spell, set welcome. Alright, end phase. Let's bring out my lovely. Lovely will pop their center card, which is called by. Okay, it doesn't matter. Ooh, Ariana. Okay, let's go with the normal summon Ariana. Search. Oh, Gamma. Okay. Okay. Surprised they used Gamma on Ari and not on Lovely. So, anyway. So, uh, welcome's going to come back here. Goodbye, Gamma. Generate a field spell. So, on end phase. So, the field spell works on my draw phase, right? So, pause that. This game is so over. Let's go battle. Bam. Bam. Alright, we'll reset. Welcome. We'll set a torrential. Yeah, this game is giga over. They're gonna draw nothing. They're gonna scoop. Yeah, Rika is no bueno. One and only Rika player. So, uh, duel number 13, we have Labyrinth versus Zodiac. Another one of these Zodiac decks. Oh, with three Cosmics in the main. I think I remember this. Uh... Yeah, I think I remember this This. Uh, this game. I remember being very funny. Normal Ari, search, imperm. <sighs> it doesn't matter. Set four pass. Imperm does nothing. All right, so they're going to desires. Okay. They're gonna play cosmic cyclone. All right, so for those of you who play quick play spell cards like cosmic cyclones or twin twisters, unless it's like the only card I have, right? Like if I had one face down card, sure, cosmic cyclone it. But when I have four. And you have to randomly pick one. It's better you just hold this and quick play it, just in case there's a, a trap card flip that's like important, right? Because he's gonna target my Psalm Strike. Okay, cool. And a second Cosmic Cycle is gonna target Welcome, and I'm just gonna chain Welcome and bring out Lovely, right? Oh, they're gonna Ash, but it doesn't matter. So yeah, so they accomplish very little. They basically trade one for one. They're gonna do the the Borbo play because of course that's the most. Uh, Predictable thing about Zodiac, right? Battle phase, immediately compulse, send that back to the extra deck, and then Ari draws me a card, and then I could set it, but I'm not going to. So, yeah, this game is so over. End phase. We're gonna get a welcome, and then we're gonna welcome on my draw phase, right? And then I'm just gonna scoop. Yeah, like Zodiac decks are so one-dimensional. They're literally just Turbo Zeus. That's it. That's their entire existence, right? Yeah, so do not shotgun cosmic cyclones like that unless you know for certain what you're taking out and knowing that you're taking out something important. Like, if you cosmic cyclone knowing that it's, like, your opponent's set branded in red, sure, do it. Or it's your opponent's set, like, uh, Flanders Dreaming Town, do it. Like, in the standby, draw phase, right? But come on, four random sets? Nah, that's not the right way to do it. Uh, game number 14, we have... Uh, what is this? Oh, Exosisters. So, Labyrinth versus Exosisters. Okay. Exo Sisters is not that good, but um, I guess in the this vessel it would be theoretically good. Uh, 
Hope I'm not mistaken, the entire deck re relies on XE summoning. I don't think they use any other type of summoning. So, opening Iron Wall against Exo Sisters, you'll love to see it. You already know where this is going. So, activate Lord, set four pass. So, Pax. We'll do Ellis. Martha. Summons herself, plus uh, Ellis. Make Michaelis, and I Song Strike that summon. So, goodbye, Michaelis. They're gonna Ellis again. I'm gonna Torrential. Bye. End phase. Flip Iron Wall. Summon Lord of the Heavenly Prison. Lord will set a uh, welcome. And I have a set Eradicator Epidemic Virus. So that's cool. So let's battle. Bam. Attack. Welcome into Lovely. Of course they have Ash, but it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to immediately Virus for spells. Goodbye Lightning Storm and Exorcister Pax. Lol. Call by the Grave. Dead. I set... Terrors. I have a welcome in the graveyard, which means if I tear anything on their field, any monster, then uh, welcome comes back. So all I gotta do is wait till they summon a monster. Evenly match, sure. Top deck, Stella. Okay. Does nothing. Another trainer virus. Yep. Devastation virus. Not bad. Devastation virus always also hilarious against. Um, Exo Sister evenly match. Oh no, they're gonna go into battle phase and then they're gonna realize they can't use it because of Iron Wall. <laughs> Feels sucks to suck. Imagine reading cards. Another terrorist. No point in setting it because it's once per turn. All right, they're gonna Stella, of course, or Martha, Martha into Ellis. So basically, I'm because they're locked out of banishing. Uh, Michaela is gonna do very little to nothing, right? So I allow them to swing into me because I want them to make Michaelis. So main two, they're going to make Michaelis, uh, which will allow them to uh, search a spell trap. But I'm going to immediately Terrors, target Michaelis, and target Call By. Put Call By on the field because it's worthless. And then goodbye Michaelis, and then Welcome comes back. And then they're going to scoop. Yeah, the game is Giga Ogre. Nothing they could do about it. It's just a matter of time, right? Just, just waiting for the inevitable. Uh, game number 15, we have... Labyrinth versus 60 card Danger Kaiju OTK Yeah, with a bunch of like OTK rank 8s. Okay, cool So let's get into that one Pretty sure they, they make me go second or they made me go first either way they're, they're a deck that wants to go second so I believe I go first. So yeah, Lord, set three pass. The thing about Danger Kaiju OTK is like they literally can't um, do anything unless I do something pretty much. So Desires, draw two, sure. Set one. I'm gonna Terrors of the Over uh, into into that card and then I'm gonna put Desires onto their field. The reason I'm doing that is because I'm summoning Lord. This is the end phase, right? Lord will set Virus. The reason I set at Radicare is because I assume that they're a, they're either a Runic or a Sky Striker or some deck that relies on going second spell, uh, spells, maybe even a Numeron, right? And uh, they either didn't have an OTK condition on me or whatever. In any case, I figured they were a spell heavy deck, which they sort of are. So let's go battle, 3K, and then we're going to immediately Virus for spells. So that's gonna kill the Desires I put back on their field and. Monster Reborn and whatever. But I know they have Astral Karibo, Ash, Lava Golem, and Kaiju. So I know that for a fact. Because I know that, I know that whatever XYZ they try to make with Astral Karibo, I will Solemn Strike the Summon. Goodbye. Set Torrential. Draw. Veiler. Okay, doesn't matter. Does not. End phase. Cool. All I need is a, is a Labyrinth card and I can get started. Unfortunately, with no pot cards, I just have to play a waiting game. So, Ice Dragons, yep. There's a Godarla, cool. Terrors, okay. Not gonna set. Be just in case I top deck a welcome, right? 
There's the Thunderbird. All right, now they're finally going to be able to do something. Danger Thunderbird. Pitch the Lava Golem, summon itself, and then draw his call by the Grave, which gets popped. Astral Karibo will summon itself as a level 8. And then they're going to attempt to make Dragoobion, but I'm going to Solemn Strike the Summon and say no. Goodbye. No OTK for you, motherfucker. All right. So, I'm going to Ice Dragons into their Thunderbird, because I can. And then I'm going to go ahead and swing. Pop. I'm going to set two more. Virus is expired, but that's okay, because they're just going to scoop. Goodbye. Easy game, easy life. And finally, uh, duel number 16, we have Labyrinth versus Sprite, baby. Uh, no runic. Just good old Sprite. Yeah, this festival was, was okay. Um, I did end up getting all the rewards, so I did get the certificate. I went all the way, because, you know, it's like Labyrinth. It's like Labyrinth literally just, like, free wins all the way through. Even without my pot cards. And without floodgates. You don't need floodgates. Floodgates are just a chair on top of an already great deck. All right. I'll go first. Uh, field spell set three. All right, so they're going to uh, discard Angler to summon... Uh, Swap Frog. They're gonna mill o run and toted. The beaver comes out. Beaver bounces. Beaver normal summons. Brings out a, a, a angler. They're gonna make mannequin cat. So this is a Zeus. This is an attempt at Zeus play. I, I can see this from a mile away. So instead of waiting for the Zeus attack and then a, the Solemn Strike to Zeus, I want to save Solemn Strike because you know they might bring out like um, you know Jet or like you know, monsters that I need to negate, right? Or like Carrot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and welcome. Welcome will bring out Lovely. Lovely will pop Mannequin Cat. And then I'll use Lovely's effect to pop a card in the hand. Because I think that's more important than the Swap Frog. Moss Reborn. Pretty good pop. Very good pop. There's the red. There's this. I'm, now I'm going to Psalm Strike this because I can't. I don't want them going into Jet and then Jet into whatever. right? Or even like in a Carrot. right? So I'm just going to say no. Um, no Jet. No Smashers for you. Now, basically... Um, they have one play left, and it's Gigantic. So, as soon as Gigantic activates effect, because its effect is once per turn, and the Detach is part of the effect. It is not part of cost, right? So they have to be able to Detach to resolve. So I'm going to chain Compulsory, bounces back, and then it will not resolve. Goodbye. And then they end. Yeah, this game is completely over. Another Field Spell, fine. Lovely will attack. 29, main 2. Uh, Lovely will set Compulsory. Yeah, anytime they try to bring out Gigantic Sprite, it's just going to get compulsed. And then Lovely will pop. So Run and Toten comes back. Okay. And then he normals the Run and Toten, makes Gigantic. Gee, I wonder where this is going. Gigantic, Chainlink 1. Compulsory, Chainlink 2. Goodbye, Gigantic. And after Gigantic leaves the field, Lovely will pop the final card in his hand, and he will be out of everything. And then Welcome also comes back, by the way. Welcome comes back from the graveyard, so... Yeah, they're going to scoop. He's like, bruh, you, you saw me recycle Compulsory. You know... That I know how how to stop your your gigantic. So, yeah, don't know why you didn't just scoop as soon as you realized you were out of resource, out of gas, and I had I had your I had your number like totally countered, right? Anyway, yeah. So that was uh the X Y Z festival. Uh, very easy. Uh, will I drop a deck list? Probably never, knowing my track record, right? I never drop deck lists or dr deck profiles. All my decks are hidden, and it'll be hidden for for the, until the end of time, right? So, uh, yeah, don't even bother commenting, uh, asking for the deck list, because it's not going to happen. Anyway, um, yeah, Air Easy Festival. So, yeah, we finished um, the Legend Anthology. We got way all the way. We finished Diamond 1 Climb with Umi Control. We finished, finished Exodus Festival with Labyrinth. Uh, and we're, you know, about a week or so away from March, right? We will have a new ban list where Runic is going to get some stuff semi-limited, and then the Rank Ladder is going to reset, and then we're going to climb again to Diamond 1 with a different deck than, you know, before, which is Umi Control. So... Hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked the, my videos and learned something. See you in the next video. Peace.